Hello everyone, my name is Tomelayo Kamalafe. I am a Click Solution Architect, and today I'm gonna to be your Click Sense Solutions Guide. Today I'm gonna to talk about how in Click Sense you can reformat different rows of a table, even in the same column. So first, uh, this came about from a recent customer engagement. Uh, so to start off with, a customer sent me a cleaned up version of their data, right? So this is what I was sent. And they wanted to see if something like this could be built in ClickSense. Again, of course, the data has been cleaned up. But as you would see for different rows, right? So we have a column prior year, last 12 months. We can have dollars, percentage, even string values, um, different you know, formatting for numbers, so maybe just one significant figure after the decimal, and so forth. So this is the data that was given, and the idea was, can this be done in ClickSense? And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do in ClickSense. First, notice one thing, uh, and I'm going to show you something I built, just so we can see, it will explain, it will clear things up in the future steps will follow. First, if you look at this data, you would see that each row actually has some format that they coincide with, except this row that has a mix of number and uh, dollars and dollar amounts. And I'm not, you know, so I'll, I'll first I'll be the first to say that I am not very uh, confident or comfortable with my skills in formatting numeric values and click sense. So I had to look most of these up and make changes as I go. But these is how you would format in click this kind of dollar sign. This is how you would format in click percentages and so forth. So you've seen I've tried to, I built this on myself. So to show you how these different rows, what their formatting in click sense would look like. And this is what I use to then build my analytics in the end. So pretty straightforward now, we're gonna create an application. And as we do that in ClickSats, super simple, go to add new, give it a name. And first we're brought to the place where we can add data. As you know, I'm gonna be bringing in that Excel workbook and we have the fields all loaded in and i'm going to bring those all right in as a table because the goal again is to replicate the exact uh, report example i was given and you're going to see me do that so i'm just bringing in field names where if it's a dimension i'm bringing it as a dimension if it's a measure i'm making sure it's a measure and that part's important one, once that's done, I'm going to create two copies. So I have a table at the top where no formatting is done. I should remove the totals row because, again, in this case, that makes no sense since all the different values for each row are different formats. Uh, a totals makes no sense. So I'm making a copy of this, right, where at the bottom you're going to see what the changes look like. So I'm going to go to the load script, unlock the script, and here, what I have to, what I want to do here is I want to create that format field you saw me show in the Excel report. The reason why we want to do this in the load script rather than in the Excel report, as you see here, is that we want to have all our formatting in one location and not in some disparate Excel location somewhere. So this is just good practice. And what I'm going to do is for those three values, the ones that are the dollar values, I'm going to show you an example of how we could do conditional formatting in the script and have that show up in the table. So I'm doing a resident load of the table at the top. Super straightforward, a load star. And this is where I'm going to bring in my conditional formatting, where I want to say for the field measure name, if the values in that field correspond to the values that have the dollar sign, use the format dollar sign. And now I'm creating a new field called format, just like you see in this example I'm showing. And again, this is important. I'm doing all this in click because if I had a field called format in my Excel, I could also do, that, do it that way. But here I want to actually do it all in click. So I have to drop tables so that I don't bring in any synthetic keys. And now 
you of course you're not going to see this format uh show up yet what i need to do is for the field in the table i need to let click know that it's a numeric field and it should follow the format field so i'm actually bringing a field with the format in as the values to change the rows super powerful and super cool in click sense so you notice the three uh field uh field values we wanted to change have been changed right and they are all now dollar signs obviously it's easy to extend what we've done to all the other values so we've changed three or four rows i just have to change all the other rows i've written the code for this already so i'm just going to copy and paste it right here for those that are you know a bit you know uh concerned about how nested if else statements work you can pause the video right here and look at how that's done so I'm going to load this all in, as you'd imagine, all of this should now work for all the different rows. So now we have each row now has the formatting applied based on the value. If it's a percentage, if it's a decimal and so forth. However, you notice that one of the values for the strings remained, uh, did not follow through. And that's because click was reading that as a numeric value what we need to do is change and check to make sure that's a string value that's passed along and that's what i'm doing here so i changed that to a string and now at the bottom even the string values pass along also and that's as simple as it is now we have to replicate the same uh, configurations we've done for this column to the other columns and it's as simple as copying and pasting and where i have to have to make sure that the uh, field values are replaced with the proper field names and so forth. Once this is done, you're pretty much ready. So here's the finished table with all the formatting applied, where we have, as you would see, for each row, some are percentages, so on and so forth. And for the final column, we remember that this was a mixed bag. This was one where the rows could be one thing, but the, the, wanted this particular column to remain as its own. And the way you do that is once I brought that in, so this is the financial op field, uh, which is here, financial opportunities. I can still choose here on the number format and what, whatever value that should be right number or here I chose money. And then I also added on top of that, the background format into this. And that's how I'm able to kind of use like overlay on the formatting I've brought in the formatting from the properties panel for this particular chart. And that's all.